scientists estimate that 200 species go extinct every day. Now, that's not going to slow down unless we do something about it. Take sea turtles, for example. They've been around for over 100 million years, and now all of a sudden, they're in the list of animals that may go extinct in our lifetime. That's crazy. And one of the biggest threats to their survival is a rapid increase in temperature. And that's because for sea turtles, it's the temperature of the sand while they're still in the egg that determines whether they're going to be a male or a female. Cool temperatures produce males, and warmer temperatures produce females. Or hot chicks, cool dudes. That's how I remember it. <laughs> but the question is, what do you think is going to happen if the temperatures continue to increase, especially here in hot, sunny South Florida? Well, we expect to see a lot more females, right? In fact, in our lab, we estimate that over 95% of all the turtles that hatch in Florida are female. Now, if you're a young man walking into a bar, you love those odds. <laughs> but unfortunately, in nature, it doesn't work that way. So what we're trying to figure out in our lab is, what is the sex ratio of turtles in Florida? Well, that's a really difficult question to answer, because male and female turtles look exactly the same until they're about 25 years old. And currently, the only technique that we have to identify sex in turtles requires invasive surgery or to sacrifice the animal, which is the last thing you want to do when you're trying to save an endangered species. So that's when I told myself, there has to be an easier way to identify sex. So I went back through the literature to figure out well, what do we know about sex determination in turtles? We know they're not like humans. They don't have sex chromosomes. In fact, male and female tur turtles are genetically the same. They have the same set of instructions. What changes is which pages of that instruction manual are read, or which proteins are expressed. So it's a difference in protein expression that drives sex. So I had to find a protein that would be found only in one sex and not the other. But the tricky part was, how do I do this without hurting the animal? Well, I looked through hundreds of different samples and tissue types, but we finally found a protein called anti-mullerian hormone, and it was only found in samples of males, in blood samples in males. So what we have now, it's an easy and a reliable technique that allows us to identify the sex in turtles the same day that they hatch, and all we need is a single drop of blood. So this could be done anywhere, at any beach all over the world. No more invasive surgery, no more sacrificing turtles, just one drop. So now that we can identify sex, we can step in. If we know for a fact that there are too many females, well, then we can do things like cool down the nests to make sure there's enough males to keep a healthy population going. So for so long, we have been part of the problem, bringing animals like sea turtles to the brink of extinction. But I believe that with this technique, we can finally become part of the solution. Thank you.